Look at this hairline. Baby, she is glueless. Look. Oh, girl almost snatched up that baby hair. <laughs> between I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wig stay clink 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 mm. baby I'm drinking backwash green tea I need to quit calling it wine and wigs day it needs to be backwash Wednesday because at this point girl this is about an empty cup but the tea is this wig baby you see that transition <laughs> the glueless wigs are all the rage but finding a good glueless wig like a real one bam with some kinky edges Come on, that look like it's growing out of your scalp, please. Hard to find, hard to come by. So I can't wait to get into this wig, but first, quick question, just real quick. Could you like, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, just so you can see every single time I post. Now let's go ahead and get into this wig. I need to say thank you to Beauty Forever Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video, because that's where this wig came from. This wig on my head is the Bye Bye Knots 7x5 Pre-Everything Kinky Curly Glueless Wig with Invisible Knots. This wig is specifically the 7x5 Bye Bye Knots Kinky Edge Wig. It is 20 inches long and 180% density. When you pop the hood on this wig, you can see that this wig comes with cones inside. It also comes with adjustable straps in the back with a silicone backing, so it's able to stick to the back of that neck. It also comes with a piano key elastic band that is a removable with also single silicone on the inside, so it stays attached. It also comes with a C-shaped ear design, so it fits comfortably around the ear, so it's super duper comfortable to wear. And it also comes with a pre-plucked hairline and pre-cut lace, babe. You're supposed to be able to throw this wig on and go. Now that's what we're gonna be testing out today. This is supposed to be just a put on and go wig, girl. You're supposed to be able to put it on and go. We're gonna take this girl on a test drive, girl. Rev these engines up, girl. We also are gonna do a couple styles with this wig because we wanna see how versatile she is. Can she take a curb, girl? Can she ride on them two wheels on the side? Y'all get in the passenger seat. Let's take this thing for a test drive. So if you wanna see how I customized this wig and what I did to make this wig look like this, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the base. The base is always the same simple thing, girl. We do a wig grip and a wig cap. But I got this wig grip from GEX Worldwide. And the wig caps that we're gonna use are these. They are really too light. Well, let me use the wig cap that they gave me, which are these. These are like HD wig caps. Okay, oh, perfect. Okay, so I use this wig cap. Look at this texture. Look at this texture. Let's go ahead and pop it on. Let's see what it gives. Come on. Ooh, ooh, girl, that fits. The shape of the hairline works for me. It's a little bit straight, but we'll be able to work on that. It goes around the ear, so it looks, it feels really comfortable on the head, and we love that. And the hair itself is super duper soft. So y'all know how I feel about kinky hairlines. I love them. I'm obsessed with a kinky hairline. So we gonna keep this kinky hairline, but first, we need to add some lace tint to this lace, because as you can see, this lace is way too light for me. So we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of lace tint. If you know me, you already know, this is my go-to lace tint. This is the More Crazy Lace Tint, three-in-one lace tint, Melting Mousse, and this is in the color medium brown. So we're gonna go ahead and pop off our wig first. Boom, let me zoom y'all out. I feel like I'm a little bit close. So you could turn your wig inside out like I'm about to do. And you can use makeup, powder, but so for some reason, powder doesn't do what this does. I'm telling you, you saw the before. Let's, I'm gonna show y'all the after. Four pumps onto the lace. And then I'm gonna take a brush and pat it around. I saw someone use a sponge and I feel like I need to get a sponge. I feel like sponge would soak up products and I don't want that to happen, so. Now you can use a blow dryer 
And usually I would use a blow dryer, but I noticed when I use a blow dryer, it causes the hair to lift up off the lace and it's much more difficult to work with. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a fan. So this is the Red by Kiss fan that I like to use on my lace. So let's use it to dry it. Who is drying fast? So we've added the lace tint. We've added the lace tint. Now let me tell you, okay, I had to end up drying it with a blow dryer because it was taking way too long. I didn't know what I was thinking I was doing. But let's go ahead and try it on. I'm telling you it's gonna make a world of difference. Baby, where is the lace? I'm trying to tell y'all. I know what I'm talking about. But look, the lace is gone. I mean, it's still there. We'll take care of that later. But the lace is going. We love a good kinky hairline, but I need it to blend a little bit better. As you can see, these roots are straight. The edges are kinky. Cute. We love that for us, but we need to go ahead and make them blend. All we need to do is just flatten it a little bit. So I like to use my hot comb on the lowest setting. So this is on 270 degrees. We're gonna pop the wig back. I'm not gonna use any wax stick or anything to help it straighten. I'm just gonna use this to blend it. So we're blending, we're blending. Basically detangle it and blend it into the hair. And I try not to straighten at the roots because the goal is to get the hairline just kind of blend into the rest of the hair. But to keep the kink, keep the kink. Once these kinky edges blend, it is so, so, so worth it. You see that? You see that texture? <laughs> so let's go ahead and pop this wig back for it. That was quick and easy. Period. Do people say period anymore? And that's that on that? Like, what do the kids say now? Girl, I'm trying to keep up with y'all lingo be a lot. I feel like I'm gonna lay down some baby hairs. Maybe I'm just gonna do the baby hairs on the sides. I think that's gonna be the vibes. Glueless with baby hairs. So... I'm gonna take their baby hair brush that they gave us. I love it when they give me baby hair brushes, girl. Cause I don't like cleaning mine. Go ahead and pull this hair back, clip it on back. Now for my natural baby hairs, I'm gonna go ahead and use my She Is Bomb Lace Putty. So take a baby hair brush and we're just pulling out our natural baby hairs. Girl, that's a lot of baby hairs. Oh, that's a wild baby hair, girl. See, the cap stops there. So I guess I would use a baby hair right here. And then right here, I'm gonna lay down this baby hair on this side. Why my hands look so flicked It's <laughs> all the It's giving flicky. <laughs> so that's it. That's it for the baby hairs. Now we need to work on these baby hairs because as you can see, girl, my forehead is looking real strange. I look like I'm walked straight out of Mars Attacks, okay? Right next to Ray J. And I think I'm gonna start with a baby hair like up here. Yeah, like one of these ones. I'm just gonna brush this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut these baby hairs down. I'm gonna cut the baby hair down short. And, oops. Girl, I hope I don't lose my baby hairs. And to lay down these baby hairs, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Bold Hold Liquid Gold Gel. People use this to lay down their uh, wigs. But I like to use it also for my baby hairs because it does an amazing job of laying down your baby hairs and also keeping your wig intact. Get you some, girl. I'm telling you I love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay down these baby hairs. Like so. Ooh. That's a, lot, that's a big baby hair. That's not, that's uncharacteristic of me. Most likely this baby hair is going to curl as it dries. And I like that about kinky edges is that the baby hairs actually curl on their own, which makes the hairline look more natural. So I'm just gonna let it curl up a little bit and just brush the hairs into the hairline. As you can see, they're curling up and they're getting shorter. Love that for me, love her, love her life. That's the way it's supposed to work. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one right here. And it's gonna be in the middle. Take. Yeah, this part right here. I wanna leave a little bit of space between the last one and this one. I'm gonna cut these once again, very short. I like them short. Take the gel and then lay it down. 
I'm just gonna keep brushing, swoop it down and back. You see that? Girl! Oh, baby, these edges. I just, I'm sorry, I'm the edge girl. Call me the edge queen. I know somebody out there is called the edge queen. I know it is. It's raining right now. It was just a super duper sunny day, but it's Georgia. We have rain, like summer showers or rain showers or what do you call those? Sun showers. It, it'll be sunny again probably in an hour or so. Ignore this track, but look how that side looks. Once the hair is down, please, girl, you won't be able to say nothing to me. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and then we get to style the hair, but look how it looks all together. Don't say nothing to me. Don't say nothing to me. <laughs> okay, let's do this side. Okay, so the baby hairs are down. I added a little bit of lace tint because this part, like it curled up, girl, I don't know. The lace curled up a little bit, so it changed color. But now, girl, this is glueless. What? Huh? Girl, look at this. Okay, once you lay the hair down, what are we talking about? Now we need to go ahead and do the actual hair. Now the hair on this, wig is a gorgeous look at that look at the texture as you can see it doesn't have much shape to it right now i like shape and also the ends as you can see are thin and kind of dry so in order to get really really good bouncy curls i always need to cut my wig so i'm gonna go ahead and start and how i cut it girl it's not perfect <laughs> it just ends up looking good at the end girl you gotta trust the process and we're just gonna quickly trim the bottom boom Okay, yeah, done. I cut off like maybe an inch. I need to go ahead and layer this hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the hair up top. And the way I've been layering, girl, it's been too much. Okay, I annoy myself with how I layer hair and I'm not doing that anymore. And I'm just gonna slide the scissors down. I always miss a couple strands, but that's how much hair I cut off. When I stop feeling the popping, I know I'm in the right, I'm in the right direction. After that part is cut, I'm gonna take this group of hair and I'm gonna slide the, do it again. Just cut downwards, right? Look at that, the shape is already coming through, honey. I'm gonna take some of this hair back here and layer it as well because I want more of a round shape. I feel like the round shape just looks better on my head. Girl, look, this side versus this side, completely different. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the hair that frames the face and, oh, it's already kinda layered, but I need that to be like a round shape. So I'm just gonna cut some of these extra long hairs down. So like no hairs are like sticking out. This section right here, because I'm feeling a little popping going on here. See that? See how it's not even? It's just sticking out. I need this to be even. See if I can just even it out. Just a little bit shorter in the front part. But I think that's basically it. This is the shape I was going for. There you go. Versus this side. Now, the challenge is to get this side to look like this side with no rhyme or reason, but we'll make it happen. Once we get the shape going, then we can go ahead and add the moves. But let's go ahead and get started on this side. Okay, y'all, the hair is cut. Now I'm hoping this shape stays this shape once I add the moves, but that's okay, girl. We, we gonna worry about that when the time comes. 
it's time for this girly so we're gonna use the do mousse def texture foam all-in-one styler for all hair types i've been using this mousse def texture foam for a minute which one have i been using i like to use this on my curly wigs especially my kinky curly ones because it really does a good job of defining curls and getting them real juiced up girl y'all know i love the juiced up curl i also like to combine that with my Evolve 572 brush. This is the magic combo. All right, so let's go ahead and part the hair down the middle so we can go ahead and start adding the mousse. Y'all can see a little bit of cap, but you won't be able to see when the hair gets down. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I know y'all trying to calm me out. I'm gonna try and work in larger sections, but every time I say that, I don't do it. So I need to quit saying that. <laughs> so, I take the mousse. Right, and I just squirt it into the hair. Now this mousse I've watered down. It's like 50, 30 to 50% water and the rest of it is the mousse because the, the mousse is so, so, so rich. Like it's really, really rich. So I try and water it down some. And then the next step is to take my Vol 572 brush and brush it through. So this brush I've had for five years. It's a detangling and like clumping brush, but it's kind of like a knockoff Denman brush. And I've had it for about five years. So the ones, if you do purchase this, I think the one that they have now has like pink on the brush. It looks different than this one, but I've had this one for so long. Girl, I haven't lost a tooth and nothing. I love this. I love this brush, but look how it combs through the hair and then clumps it. Look at that. Look at these curls. Come on, get out of here, sister. Look. We're gonna keep moving through the hair and get these curls going, so. I'm just gonna keep moving through the hair. We're gonna keep working through the hair until all the hair is detangled and clumped and then I'll come back to blow dry and we'll get those finished coils. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to add mousse all over the hair and then, and then um, detangle as I go. I feel like this is quicker. Let's see. Let's see if it is. I've never done it like this. Just add mousse all over. Girl, I've been taking a long way. I don't know why I like to do this. It's scenic route. look but first before we go ahead and get into our final thoughts we need to go ahead and get into these styles but just a quick you know one two one two look this hairline baby she is glueless look oh girl almost snatched up that baby hair. but we need to do a couple styles with this wig so i'm gonna work out a couple of styles we'll try them out and then we'll be back with our final thoughts Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get into these styles. But before we get into these styles, I'm just gonna let y'all know they do have a back to school sale going on. So you mamas out there that need to throw on your wig to drop your kids off, this is really the time to go ahead and pick up a unit. Now, let's go ahead and start with figuring out what these styles are gonna be. So I'm gonna part out some of the hair on the top. Y'all know I love a, a good tendril on the top, like a good tendry gracing the face kissing the forehead but i decided this time i wanted to pull it all back because i wanted to see what this wig was working with and baby she did not disappoint i'm gonna go ahead and pull this hair all up look how cute that is like it looks so good again this is glueless it looks amazing i could have pulled a little bit more off the side because you know i was showing a little track but sometimes it's a little it's a little keeper it's a little style for you come on track 
<laughs> you really can't see the track at all. The way I've styled this wig and the way that this lace looks on the forehead, you're able to do so many updos and styles that it's really, really easy to treat this like this is your own hair. Now, the next style is the last style. Girl, I tried to do a bun. I cut that out. I tried to do a bun, babe. It won't work out because this hair is too short to do a bun at the top or it's too curly to do the bun. But either way, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this hair back. Like this is giving on the go, girl. I need to go ahead and get this hair out of my face before it sticks to my foundation. Yes, ma'am. Look how cute that is. And look how pretty it looks from the back. Y'all tell me which one of these styles is your favorite. Now let's go ahead and get into our final thoughts and close out this video. What do y'all think? Which one was your favorite style? Go ahead and tell me now. I feel like mine, y'all can go ahead and say it with me, half up, half down. All in all, I absolutely love this wig. All together, this wig eats it up. Vibe by Knot's wigs, sometimes they're not all created equal, okay? Some of them take a little bit more work than others. This one, baby, little lace tint, baby hairs, little mousse, she ready to go. Look at that hairline, like look, look at how amazing this looks. The curls are defined and so soft. I don't know why this hair dried fast. I think it was my mousse, but it dried really, really fast. So I was able to get to styling and stuff really, really quick. Let's go ahead and get into the final thoughts on this wig. Now, first, let's talk about the claims that this Bye Bye Knots wig is super duper easy. Like you can plop her on and go. The only issue that I had with this was that the lace was too light. With this wig, all I had to do was lace tint and that's it. The knots are bleached, but not too much. Like some of them, you can still kind of see the black dots, but not too much. The bleaching is enough. Like you can still see the dots, especially on the kinky edges, but not enough where you can call me out. And if you can, you're too close, girl. I'm calling a lot. All together, I think this wig is stunning. I love it. Now you can definitely choose to do the one without kinky edges, but I'm gonna choose kinky edges every single. Look at those edges. Like what are we having a conversation about? The edges eat every single time. Y'all let me know what you think down below. I want to say thank you again to Beauty Forever Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I will leave a link for this unit down below. I also will leave a coupon code down below because of course you're gonna get some money off when it comes to me girl. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Wait, what was that? Girl, it's a skip. Bye.